Do you ever have those days where you're lying in bed and it's so warm and it's so cozy and comfortable in your bed and you just don't want to get up? Like you just don't want to get out of bed. Or sometimes it's, it's worse than that, right? It's like you're lying there in a comfortable position in your bed and it's not only that you don't want to get up, but you're not getting up because you're dreading what the day is going to be like. I was talking to a friend the other day and she was telling me that she never bounces out of bed, that she never like jumps out of bed and is like, yes, universe, I am ready to start the day. Like she just doesn't have one of those days. She said, every day is like a fight to get out of bed. I've had those days. I, I totally have had those days. But I would say the majority of the time getting out of bed, I feel pretty good, you know? Now, I sometimes feel tired. Like, sometimes I'm like, you know, bouncing out of bed, but I can feel that I'm not fully 100% charged, 100% energized. I think you can probably relate to my friend or myself, and the conversation really inspired me to do this video. How do we wake up bursting with energy and feeling more alive? There are obvious things that I think we know by now, like we know that what we eat affects our energy levels and of course you know the amount of sleep that we get also affects our energy levels so if we go to bed at like 3 30 in the morning because we're binge watching scandal or the cosmos or how i met your mother or something like that then we're not gonna be able to wake up feeling recharged and refreshed and if we're eating really late at night like oh my goodness i remember this is going many many years back when i was doing like 80 things at once i would eat my dinner at like 11 30 12 o'clock at night and then roll my buns into bed at like you know like an hour later I'll, I'll even confess to you guys oh my god i can't believe i'm saying this but there was a time when i was like a night eater like i would i swear to you i would be one of those people that would wake up in the middle of the night and like eat like 400 500 calories in the middle of the night anyway you can see why i do self-love work now right <laughs> you can see the journey where i came from and where i'm at now yeah i don't night eat anymore don't wake up in the middle of the night and eat food like that anymore that's been a long time ago occasionally i have a late night where i eat a late dinner um but that means I'm also sleeping in and getting the required amount of sleep. So it's just, I'm on a different time schedule. You know, that's something that you wanna watch. Like you wanna be checking out what foods you're eating just before you go to bed. And if you're eating really, really heavy stuff, your body is struggling to digest and process and do all the things that it actually needs to do in the nighttime, which is really repair your muscles, your cells, you know, repair your body. That's busy trying to digest food. You'll also notice that what you eat also affects your dreams or even if you dream. In another video, I'll talk about what dreams mean and you know, all that cool stuff, but not in this video. Stay tuned for that. If you're not getting enough sleep, your body wants to sleep. So when you're waking up in the morning, your body, it's like your consciousness is up, <laughs> but your body's like, I'm not awake, I need more sleep. And then you get that like drag effect where you feel like you're, you're hauling or rolling a dead body out of bed. Yeah, you're hauling and rolling your dead body, your tired body out of bed. But there's something I haven't talked about that I think we really need to focus on here. And it's the emotional aspect. 
and it's the thoughts and the feelings. So the emotional aspect is really, what are you doing with your life? Are you excited about your life? You know, if you only in your life have a job that you don't really like, so you don't have anything else that you're working on, you don't have another business, you don't have a family that you pour your energy into or volunteer work or other things that fulfill you and excite you in the day, then oh my God, getting up is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare. It's gonna be like WrestleMania, a huge fight to get out of bed. Look at your life and see if your day-to-day -day includes things that you're passionate about, things that are in alignment with who you are as a person. And if the answer is no, there's nothing there, I would definitely say create something. You know, and if you don't know how to do that, you don't know where to begin, work with a coach or a therapist. They'll definitely be able to peel back the layers. Ooh, it's windy today. They'll definitely be able to peel back the layers so that you know what direction to take or at least what the next action is. Now, the thoughts and the feelings, right? Which is like the emotional, um, but just a little bit different. Let's keep it and actually say it's more mental than emotional. The thoughts and feelings are really about you having the awareness to understand what you're really thinking about, you know? So there you are, you're lying in bed. What are you literally thinking about? If you start thinking, oh my God, I've got that email and I've got that bill and then I gotta go to the dentist, and then I gotta go to the doctor, and then I gotta go to, like you're just running through the to-do list. It's just gonna suck the life right out of you. It's gonna suck the power right out of you. You're not gonna wanna bound out of bed, that's for sure. So if you catch yourself doing that, it's, it takes a little bit of practice, okay? But like any other muscle, this mental muscle can be developed. You catch yourself, you notice, I'm thinking about all of the stuff I don't want to do, straining my energy. Start thinking about the stuff that are awesome in your day. Hmm. Seeing that picture from my son or daughter when they come home from school, smiling at my husband who's lying beside me or my wife who's lying beside me. Booking the tickets for our trip to Japan going to the warehouse sale and buying something new for the house. Like, just really think about the things that you're looking forward to in your day. Now, if you, you know, encounter that there's absolutely nothing that you're looking forward to in your day, you need to call me, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> I would say that if you are you know, just not having anything in your day that lights you up and excites you and makes you feel really good, I wanna know why. And ask yourself why, because you work so hard, you know? You work so hard, you're a giving person. I'm sure you're one of those people that everyone can count on. Why don't you have anything in your life that's important to you, that matters to you, that makes you happy? I think you deserve that, don't you? If you don't think you deserve that, again, ask yourself why. We always wanna be asking questions to uncover what's going on beneath the surface, right? That's how we do, that's how we do self-love work. I hope that this conversation even is, is kind of having you reflect and ask yourself how you wanna feel waking up out of bed and also opening you up to what's possible that maybe not every single morning for the rest of your entire life will you be jumping out of bed but really if that's something that you want on a more regular basis if you desire it it's possible because there's nothing special about me or anybody else who's doing it except mindset okay oh 
one warning, one warning I do want to say. This is a really great strategy for energizing your mind, your body, and your spirit. However, don't let this slide into that inauthentic, let's be positive all the time kind of stuff, okay? Because there are times when you're feeling what you're feeling and you've gotta dive deep into those feelings because the negative feelings, the negative emotions are also communicators and messengers. They're there to tell you something. They're actually saying, hey, there's something going on within me or around me that I need you to focus your conscious attention on. So no Pollyanna-ing, okay? And if you don't know the difference, if you don't know when you should sit in those emotions, go deep, do some inner child work, shadow work, um, deep reflection, and when it's like, okay, this is just the old program, that, that old tape that's actually not useful to me playing and I need to cut it out, then work with someone. Work with someone who can help you to create cues or to really be able to know yourself well enough to be able to tell the difference, okay? Get the support, that's all. We all need support sometimes, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, I'm hungry, so <laughs> I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna go get something to eat. I hope it's been crazy helpful for you and if you have video requests, or questions, you know what to do, leave them in the bottom, in the description box. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next vlog. Mwah.